how as to how cultural marxism originated how the victimhood narratives originated and how they overwhelmed the political left at a certain point in its history when we recount this history we must go back a long time or rather a long time in the past about 70 odd years or a little more than 70 odd years i will trace the origins of cultural marxism to the activities or rather the the writings of an individual called antonio gramsci Antonio Gramsci lived in Italy and he was a Marxist. However, his problem was that, unfortunately, he lived in Italy and he was a Marxist when the fascists had taken over Italy. So he was jailed on account of being a Marxist in the year 1929. He remained in jail till the year 1935. In these seven years that he was in jail, he wrote a lot, presumably in order to kill time. He wrote random thoughts he jotted down random thoughts on a number of topics on italian history on culture politics etc etc long after he died in the 1970s these thoughts were edited and compiled and later they were also translated into the english language and published as selections from the prison prison notebooks if you read the present notebooks it can be a tedious exercise because of the randomness of the of gramscian thinking at a point in it, you will come across a rather strange, curious and a potentially dangerous idea. You find that Gramsci writes at a point in the prison notebooks that there is a relationship between state ethics, by ethics he meant culture and morality and the productive forces. Gramsci believed that the states enforce a certain level of cultural morality upon their subjects, upon their citizens in order to support a certain set of or a certain relation relations of productive forces what does this mean to unpack this uh, gramscian observation and let me give you an example let us say that uh, there is a bourgeois capitalist society with an industrial economy now uh, now in the eyes of gramsci the state will be enforcing a certain level of culture upon its subjects and citizens in order to support the bourgeois as a class and the industrial economy that is the productive forces that is, the citizens will be imparted a certain level of numeracy and literacy, which are aspects of culture. A certain level of morality will also be inculcated, inculcated into them. This morality will forbid them from taking what is not their own. That is, this morality will ask them to respect private property. Now, from the Gramscian point of view, this is perhaps a bad thing. Because by imparting a certain level of literacy and numeracy to its uh, subjects or citizens, the state will be helping the bourgeoisie because a certain level of numeracy and literacy is required for, is necessary for industrial labor. And it is the bourgeoisie who will be owning the industries in such a regime, in such a society. Further, since it is the bourgeoisie who will be owning most of uh, the private property, again, citizens being asked to respect the private property will only benefit the bourgeoisie.